Hey everybody, welcome back to a 40k journey. My name is Nate, and today we're going to be working on our Horus Heresy Mark VI Dark Angel Sergeant. And I've already taken care of the regular details. Uh, edge highlighting, um, cables on his armor, his pistol holster, the usual deal. There's a few details for me to fill in and correct, but mostly he's taken care of. But what we're going to be focusing on are his unique elements. That would be the crest on top of his head, the coils on his plasma pistol, and the blades on his lightning claw. We're going to be doing all those eventually, but today we're just going to be focusing on the crest. Now it's usually white with red stripes, but it's not so simple as just painting white and red on. The key with white is that you want to start with a really light gray so that you can actually highlight it with white. And we're using Yulthuan gray for that. And just got to paint the whole thing be a little careful with the border that I already painted with lead belcher, but not critical if it gets a little over. You can always fix it later. And there we go. Again, don't need to be too neat or pretty. And then we're going to shade it with Griff Charger Gray. It's a nice kind of light blue gray. And again, no need to be too neat or careful. Just get it all in there and make sure to let it dry <laughs> all the way. That's critically important. So to add in the white, uh, we have a few options. We can either dry brush it, we can kind of use the flat edge of our brush and try to edge highlight it, or we can go hard mode, which is what I tried to do here, and paint all the bristles individually. It's not going to turn out perfectly, but it's not the end of the world. So we're going to do our best here with the white scar and just try to <laughs> get all these individual bristles. And there's going to be some overlap, but Right. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, now comes the part where we start with the red. And we'll be using Mephiston red. And there are little breaks you can see in the, uh, the rim of the, uh, the crest there. And I'm using those to divide it up. Um, it's not going to be symmetrical, but that's not the end of the world. So, all right. Make sure to get the sides and the top and the back. Now we're going to shade this part with Dark Oath Flesh. Uh, you can use other colors for this too, like Agrax Earth Shade would probably work too. But I like the uh, the red of Dark Oath Flesh. I think it looks pretty sharp. Okay, and now it's time to add the highlights. We're going to be using Evil Sun's Scarlet for this, and we're doing the same thing we did with the right the, with the white scar just on the red parts instead of the white parts. Make sure to get in between that little gap there in the crest. This is probably why you're going to want to go back over the metallic border, because you're probably going to add a little paint to it. But not the end of the world. But we are pretty much there. Uh, the last thing I did was kind of go over the very edges uh, with a little bit more White Scar and a little bit more uh, Evil Sun's Scarlet just to make it stand out a little bit more. But yeah, very simple process, and it's going to make the crest on your sergeants look great. Way better than if you had just slapped some white and red on there. So that's all for part one. Please join us for part two when we tackle the plasma pistols coils. It's going to be pretty cool. So, Thank you so much for joining me. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and consider supporting the channel on Patreon.